Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a great day. Y'all, let's make another fantastically inexpensive Christmas craft, or really anytime craft. Stay tuned. And for those of you watching this video, welcome. Thank you so much for sharing a few minutes of your day with me. I really do appreciate it. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, today's project is just going to be one of many that we make on this channel like this. And it is all the more reason why you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell because I have some awesome Christmas crafting ideas that I'd love to share with you. And the easiest way to know about them is to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And so here is what we are making today. These are two very large bath bombs that I got from the Dollar Tree. They are 140 grams, 4.9 ounces. They are very, very large. And you can see how big it is from just how it's sitting in my hand. These are very large bath bombs and they make a great gift. You could give it as one, but I have packaged these as two in this awesome box that I'm going to show you how to make with an acetate lid. This is a $3 gift and it is super easy to make, super economical. Doesn't look it though. So we are going to make this right now. So to make this project, I have a piece of scrap that measures two and three eighths by five and three eighths. I have a piece of acetate that measures eight by 11. And I have a piece of decorative Prima paper that measures eight and a half by 11 and a half. And we're going to start with our Prima paper. So I have my paper and my scoreboard on the 11 and a half inch side. And on all four sides of this, we are going to score at half an inch and at three. Easy peasy scoring guys. One half of an inch and at three. And like I said, this is really an anytime gift. Doesn't have to be for Christmas. As you notice, I am not using Christmas paper. I am just using some regular old beautiful Prima paper. So then we are going to fold and burnish all of our score marks. And we are not adding any chipboard to these little Christmas craft projects that we're making right now. Last one. So I am going to take my pen and on this paper, we are going to remove the three corner pieces from all four sides. The first thing that we want to do though, is we've got two very long center panels here and we want to just go ahead and free those up. So I am going to go to the score mark that's next to them and just cut down. I freed one side, cut down, and I'll free that side. Now I can go ahead and cut out my three corner pieces. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just angle in on that piece. I'll angle in here angle here and by doing that I have removed two of my pieces and now I'll reduce this piece in size and I've removed my third piece. So we'll do this on all four sides. So we'll angle in here, remove that, angle in there, and then we'll angle and then we'll angle on that score mark to remove those two pieces and then we'll cut here to reduce. 
Now we'll come over to this side and we need to free up this panel just like we did this one. So I will go to my score marks and drag straight down the middle of the score. Just like that. And when I say go up to the score mark, I don't mean go through it. Just go up to that score mark. Place your X-Acto knife, scissor point, finger blade, whatever it is you're using, right at the score mark and drag down. Now we can come back and angle in. Angle in here. Angle there. And reduce. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we're going to angle in angle in, angle, angle here, and reduce. Then on my larger tabs, I am going to go ahead and do just a slight angle at that very bottom flap because it'll just make it easier to fold inside of our box. All right, so this is how your project piece should look. So we're going to take our glue you can use double-sided tape. I would not use a snail tape runner on this because we really need strength in how we construct this box. So I am going to just make sure that I've got my ends matched. And I'll use my big old spatula and smooth that out. Come over to the other side and do the same thing And I'm just going to make sure that I get this one matched. And I like for my corners to be very crisp. And that means that my score marks on this side are even with the score marks on this side. And let's just get that nice and stuck. And now we'll do the same thing here. So I'm going to bend that back. Place my glue on both of these pieces. And then I'm going to get it matched. Remember, nice and crisp and straight. And do the same thing over here. And guys, when you're putting your box together, make sure that your ends are glued thoroughly and that you don't have any warping or it's not completely glued. That might look like you've put your box together, but you want to put your best foot forward on your project. So make sure you take the time to truly finish off the edges and construct your boxes properly so that they will look as professional and as neatly done as possible. Doesn't have to be done quick. Let's just do it right. So I am placing glue on these outer flaps. And then I'll go inside with my bone folder because it's easier for me to get on this inside with that. And what I've done is I have folded that piece inside just to finish off the top of our box real nice and neat. And for me, that's what it's all about. I could leave that edge raw, but I wouldn't because I like for my boxes to have a very professional finish to them. I'm gonna fold that piece in. And then once I have all four sides folded in, I am just going to go around and make sure that they are all stuck. And now you can see I have a very beautiful little box here. And I get comments sometimes asking me why I do these things because it's not necessary. And my only response to that is, it's not necessary if you don't want to do it. That's the only way that I can answer something like that. To me, it's one of those necessary steps, but if you don't want to do it, then it's not a necessary step. So anytime I get a question like that, my response back is not meant to be rude. It's just the realness of it 
To me, it is necessary, but it might not be to you. So we have our box and I am going to add the stabilizer piece that measures two and three eighths by five and three eighths. And I don't need to do a test fit on this one because I cut it slightly smaller than the finished size of this box. So I know that it's just going to fit. So I am going to take that and just get that laid down on the inside. And now we have our box. So now I can take the two bath bombs, put them in the box. If you wanted to add some shredded paper, you could. I am not going to add any shredded paper, but if you wanted to, you could. It would look beautiful. So I am going to bring in my eight by 11 inch piece of acetate. And we are going to score this acetate on all four sides at two and three quarters of an inch. Now when you're scoring acetate, make sure that you have a very good score. And I like to use the small point of my stylus because it really gets down in that groove. And I really only have to go over this once, but I'm going over it twice to show you that if you're using your bone folder, you're really gonna have to get down in there and work it because you want to make sure that you have a good score on this because it'll make it so much easier for you. So that is two and three quarters on all four sides. Okay, so once we have the acetate scored at two and three quarters on all four sides, all I'm going to do at this point is I am going to remove all four corners. So I am going to use my finger blade, go up to the score mark and drag straight down and go to the other score mark and drag straight down. I'm not cutting at an angle. I am just removing that corner piece. And you can see on my scoreboard where I've removed that piece. Now I'm going to do it on the other three sides. So I'm going to go up to the score mark, drag straight down. You could place this in your trimmer if you want and trim it. I'm just going to do it by hand. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'll go up to my score mark, drag straight down, go to the score mark, drag straight down the center of that score mark, and we'll do our last one. So I am simply going up to the score mark and cutting straight through the center of that score mark. And then I'll do the same thing here. And so now I have removed the corner pieces on all four sides of my acetate. So I'm going to put my scoreboard away because I'm not going to need it. And now all I'm going to do is just take my hand and go along my scores because I have such good scores on here that I really don't need to go over them with my bone folder. I can just go back and reinforce these scores with my hand. And so I am just going to take my paper towel and clean up a little bit of my fingerprints from the top. Now I'm going to bring my box back in and I am placing the acetate on the inside of the box. And when you place it, it's going to go in just like this. So you're going to have a slight overhang of that acetate, which is exactly what I want. So your acetate will end up sitting up 
about a quarter of an inch. And so to finish off my box, I have placed some glue dots on the back of my ribbon and I am just going to take that ribbon and place it right there. I am not doing much to this. I am going to keep it very, very simple so that we have two very elegant $3 Christmas crafts. And guys, these don't look like $3 crafts. Look at the beautiful paper, very simple embellishment. And then we have our very sweet bath bombs on the inside and I'm trying to get these out of the light of my camera. But I think that you guys can see just how gorgeous these actually are. And of course, acetate just adds that element of elegance to our projects. I hope that you have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, did this convince you? If it didn't, check out some more of my other videos. I think they will. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload a new video. You guys, be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.